The pressure to be perfect is hard to break when it's shoved in your face every single day. Perfect lives splattered on our screens, the same old pictures on constant repeat. When you see the same thing, it conditions your brain, manipulates your mind till you think the same. And naturally you stop and start to compare how you wish that was you, how life isn't fair. So you go to the gym and try to be healthy. Do crazy diets, take millions of selfies. Pushing yourself yet never satisfied because you're comparing yourself to what you see online. Pick yourself apart how you hate this and that, how you don't like your face or think you're too fat. When instant results from the first day and then disappointed because it doesn't work that way. Waxing, eyebrows, full face of makeup, pressure to be perfect from the moment you wake up, editing pictures with filters and apps, skipping meals, do an extra lap, critique everything from the clothes that you wear, your relationship status or the colour of your hair, spend hours taking selfies to post some online but can never find any that you really like. Because you're used to seeing filters and facetune edits. When you see something real, you don't give it credit. Now with social media, the pressure's unreal. Likes and comments affects how you feel. The constant need to seek validation has corrupted the minds of this generation. Relationship, friendship, it's always about goals. That's all you ever see whenever you scroll. So we push and we push and we push ourselves until we break and it affects our health. We try so hard to look great online, which makes us feel insecure inside. Every selfie must be perfect, every caption funny. You have to get a job that pays a lot of money. Manage your career with a great social life, the perfect combo, house kids and wife. We've set our lives against expectations. It's not realistic. There's limitations. I'm not saying don't try and aim to be better. Of course you should. Be a goal setter. But don't lose who you are along the way and try to change to fit in some way. All you can do is try your best. There's really no need to compete with the rest. The only standard you should uphold is the one you set yourself. It's okay to struggle and ask for help. You don't have to be great all the time and create this perfect image online. You're learning, growing, figuring it out. Make your own rules and make it count. It's okay to fail and make mistakes. I'd rather be real than someone fake. Truth is, life's too short to be something you're not. So take a step back and appreciate what you've got. Tear myself down is just not fun. That's it, I'm out. Officially done. I get a lot of messages from you guys telling me how much you guys are struggling and would like some advice. And as much as I want to help you guys, I realize that I can't always give the advice you're looking for because I'm not qualified. So I've left a link to BetterHelp in the description box. They basically provide professional help for things such as people struggling with their mental health. And they have a seven day free trial. So you can just try it out and see how it goes. And if it's not for you, you don't have to use anymore. And if it does help in some way, you can continue using it. It's all down to you. But I'm just letting you know that the option is there if you would like it. Because I know so many people are looking for advice but don't know where to turn to. And I thought this might be a good option. So yeah, hopefully you took something away from this video. And that, thank you so much for watching. You can follow me on all my social media, links in the description box. And I shall see you guys next Sunday. Bye!